Hey there, YouTubers. This is Luis from On Site Towing and Recovery in Middletown, New York. So, my friend Cody, owner of ENL Towing in Wantage, New Jersey, posted an article on Facebook about the slow down move over law. And the article was written by a writer for New Jersey's 101.5. Her name is Judy Frankel on December 4th, 2018. And it's her opinion in regards to the slow down move over law article really set me over the edge. It's just, it's so ignorant that it's not even funny. So I'm going to read this article to you, to my subscribers here. And after I'm done reading it, I'm going to actually post my opinion on her opinion. I'm going to criticize her. And I will also be posting a link to the website where the article is so that you can read it for yourself. But anyways, this, this is some good stuff here. So, it was written on December 4th, 2018, and the title of the article is New Jersey's Move Over Law, Dead Cops Make Bad Laws, and in parentheses, it's opinion. So, it starts off as, because we don't have enough laws in New Jersey, a legislator wants to take one we already have and give it more teeth. New Jersey's move over law was established nine years ago after state police trooper Mark Castellano was struck and killed in the line of duty on the side of the road by a driver who did not move over. It's a silly law that requires a driver to move over when they see police, maintenance, tow truck, and other emergency vehicles and personnel on the shoulder. Duh, no one is going to deliberately run into someone on the side of the road. If you can move over safely, you probably will. But it's not always safe to. With this law, I notice a hazardous trend of drivers noticing the activity too late and panicking and stopping short or trying to move over too quickly. Plus, it's already difficult to enforce because the cops who would give you a ticket for not moving over are already occupied doing whatever they're doing on the side of the road, which is why you have to move over in the first place. Now, there's a $100 to a $500 fine for violating the law. But Assemblyman Eric Hotelling is sponsoring a bill which would impose two points as well. We don't need this law. It's common driving sense to give room to people working on the side of the road. People who don't move over are most likely not ignoring the law, rather they are being cautious. You can't necessarily move over safely at all times. A dead cop is sad. But a horrible tragedy doesn't warrant a law that puts other drivers at risk and is almost impossible to enforce. This woman's got some cojones, let me tell you. So, next video, this will be my opinion, all right? All right, YouTubers, so that was the article that was written by New Jersey's 101.5's Judy Franco on December 4th, 2018. It's, uh... It's an article that's going to piss a lot of people off that are on the highways helping, you know, keep think, keeping things safe and helping stranded motorists out. And it's just going to, it's going to ruffle a lot of feathers. But anyways, so I find her to be rather ignorant and very selfish. I am sorry that the move over law is a major inconvenience to you. Perhaps you should be placing a phone call to Trooper Mark Castellano's family or New York State Trooper Nathaniel Burroughs or tow operator John Stewart from Kansas City, all people that are out assisting the public, helping the public, could be helping you. Why don't you reach out to their families and tell their families how this silly law and their tragedies do not warrant a law like this? Explain that to them. You know, as ignorant as you may be, I am hoping that you're capable of learning and respecting this law. It's easy for you to call it a silly law when your workplace hazard consists of carpal tunnel and sciatic nerve issues from sitting on your ass all day and writing these senseless articles. You know, this article really, really got my blood boiling. But I am one to educate people, and this is the whole purpose of my YouTube channel. So I would like to educate you 
Judy Frankel, and I would actually like for you to come out to Middletown, New York, and do a couple highway calls with me. I'll even throw in the vest for you. And we're gonna see what your take is gonna be when you are on that white line and a tractor trailer is 16 inches from you and not moving over. We want you to see what it's like seeing that teenager who's totally oblivious to what's going on, oblivious to the flashing lights, texting away, and is starting to veer into the shoulder. We want you to experience all that. So come on up to Middletown and, and experience it for yourself. Because one thing for sure is you should not be calling this law a silly law, especially when countless people have lost their lives assisting people like you. And that's pretty much all I got. It's just Louise from Onsite Towing in Middletown, New York. Please like, subscribe, and leave some comments. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And thanks for watching.